What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we spent quite a bit of time at Freeze Easy Peak. However, we weren't able to actually get the last Jiggy there, or the Jiggy that we unlocked in Gruntilda's Lair, because I believe we were going to uh, go to Gobi's Valley first, and instead unlock one of the different abilities we can get here. So I think that's what we're going to try to do, although it looks like there's some quicksand we'll need to get over first. I see the boots over there. And um, I did briefly check, and I guess Freeze Easy Peak is the typical order that you go with first before... Are there no boots here? Anything? Hmm, maybe over here? Oh yeah, that's right, they're over here. Um, that is the typical order you would go in. I just must have completely forgotten that you can't actually complete the level without getting this move first. Or maybe there's, you know, some way to do it that I'm just simply not aware of. But either way, we're going to go to Gobi's Valley first. I'm very excited, though. I really enjoy this level. Famous last words, right? Uh, I knew there'd be something behind you hidden by the camera. Let's chat with Brentilda real quick. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful sweaty Betty. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. <laughs> okay. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. I'm sure some people would be into that. <laughs> While sipping a glass of her favorite camel spit milkshake. Yikes. That doesn't sound very yummy, but it is topical given we're going to be entering Gobi's Valley. Oh, I guess the camel's not here yet, but... You'll find one more move in here, Banjo. I love the music here. It's so good. Anything behind us? Yes, there is. Always got to check behind where you start in these types of games. So we got ourselves a Jinjo already, quite quickly. Something you'll notice, look at the bees over there. They will be very upset if you break that, um, I guess, bee farm? Honeycomb thing? I think... Trunker wants rain. Gasp. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Bark? What? <laughs> Kazooie, will eggs and feathers help? No. Cough. Need water. Help. So that's telling us we can't exactly... Well, what's kind of funny is, you know, the thing is surrounded by water, but no, we can't unfortunately spit eggs into it and have that be actually helpful. Instead, we're going to have to find some water source that'll actually get up to the tree there. It's a little old trunker. So take a look at this level. It's great. Also, oh my goodness, I forgot about these, uh, these hand things. I think you have to wait for them to do that, and that's what you got to do. All right. So we got quicksand here. That's going to be one of the main hazards of this level. Let's pick up some of these notes while we're here. And I think we should be able to, if I don't screw it up, <laughs> uh, go around back here. I see the boots over there, so that'll enable us to get a lot of the stuff that's chilling in the quicksand there. But we've got a flight pad here, which is nice. But what's at the top here? I don't... Again, I haven't played through this part of the game too frequently. Too... Yeah, too often. So I'm not as familiar as I am with some of the other things. Already, I actually... I don't remember too well, but the draw distance is probably quite different between this game and the original on the N64. But look at this level. All the quicksand, the pyramids. It's so cool. I love that up there, too. Off in the distance, we can see that area over there. You can see the little rings there. That one over there with the eyes on it. We got a camel off in the distance. Can't zoom in, but um, we have Mumbo Token. We got quite a few of them. So a nice little look. And then, of course, we have this Sphinx. Can I... Is that what I'm supposed to do with it? I don't actually remember. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. In the meantime, do we want to fly first? Let's let's try and collect all of these collectibles on the side first, because we don't even have too many feathers. So as we go around the level and maybe collect some of these other things... That was close. Oh, and then there's the magic carpet. I think that'll take us to that one little area there. There's an extra life. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Because <laughs> they go away every single time anyways. But yeah, while we're going around getting all these collectibles, we'll probably get more feathers. And that'll be really nice for when we actually do decide to fly. Now, getting that Mumbo token might have been a little bit of a stretch on the timer. Come on. All right, we made it. Oh, yeah, we had, we had a good amount of time there. Okay, so can we go up this... Yeah, we can just 
Talon Trot of it. We have this thing here. I think we need to fly through this ring. I don't remember 100%, but I think so. Whoa, camera? It's been a few days since I last played. It's nice to come back to it, though. I was, you know, playing some of the other games I have on my two playlist that I've been enjoying. Namely, some more of Persona 5 Royal, which I've been playing for the past, like, seven months on and off. And that's been a blast. Also started playing Atelier Iza recently, and that has also been really enjoyable. Oh, we got some quicksand down there. Although, do I see notes down there? Looks like it, so we're probably going to need to wade through that with some boots. We got an enemy here. What kind of enemy is this? A beetle of some sort? And again, they're protecting that bee farm, or whatever. Oh, I got a talent trot up these. There's got to be something going on up here. Enemy of some sort? No? Alright, well, I'm sure we'll be back then, because clearly that area's got to be something... Oh, while I was up there, I should have gotten those red feathers. Why didn't I do that at the time? Because, yeah, we are pretty low. Is there... What, what am I supposed to do here again? I don't remember exactly. Let's get this note before we forget. And just like that, we're already third of the way through. Oh, that's what it is. I was going to say, what are these platforms here for? But I'm pretty sure we need to, like, it looks like we can shoot eggs into the, uh, the mouth of this little... What? Oh my goodness, that could have been really bad. Into this little head fixture here. Oh! And so it's like a little target practice. <laughs> That's funny. Luckily we have 100 eggs, so we can afford to just kind of spam. You gonna move to a different section now? Oh, up there. Oh, no, you're not moving up there. But we're raising a pyramid up there. So we have to go around to the different sections and shoot the eggs. Alright, well I guess that'll be the first thing we do in this level. I should probably go Talon Trot, just in case I go on the slope and eventually and end up sliding. No! No, 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 no! Only we Sand Eels can survive in here. Yeah, no kidding. Don't slide, don't slide, don't slide! Don't slide, Banjo! I'm freaking out! <laughs> Alright, we're, we're okay. Here we go. Let's try this again. I was tempted to get the mumbo token while I was down there, honestly, but I was like, no, I gotta get out of there, gotta get out. Oh, and that's probably why they have those flight pads. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. And that's probably the last one. You can notice the platforms that we stand on are also getting smaller as we progress along here. So, it's clearly the, uh, the order of the challenge. Darn it, I did the same thing I like to do. Oh my goodness, that took so much health. Do you guys see that? We only have like three honeycombs left. Holy cow, that did so much. I was doing the thing that I like to do in, oh my goodness. We are almost dead. We are almost dead. Oh, and look at the banjo icon. I don't even remember that being a thing. Um, okay. So I guess if we are going to fly, we can come over here and get these. By those is all clogged up. Oh, so we are supposed to stand on these. And all right, well, we'll we'll come back and do this eventually. But I'm pretty sure we have to actually. No, let's see if we can unlock it. Because I think we have to shoot eggs in his nostrils. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Oh, we're trying to get him to sneeze. That's the rationale behind it. That's really funny. Okay, so we've unlocked that. Is it on a timer? Ah, that cleared Jinxie's nose. Come on in. Okay, before we do that though, we're gonna, we're gonna get a little bit risky here. And break this open. The bees are about to be really upset. Come on, Banjo, come on. Oh no, we got hit. Oh, that's right, I think the key is we have to run in the water. And that'll protect us from the bees for a little bit. Alright, well we at least have a few... Um, you know, bits of health to work with. Granted, we were losing them super fast. So one of the things I like to do in 3D platformers, specifically the Mario games, is I like to jump towards something and then the ground pound when I'm over it because, oh my goodness. 
because then you kind of like lock on on that specific location. So it's like you jump until you're like just over it and then you ground pound and then you land like immediately where you are in the air. But it's a little bit tough to do that in this game. But that's what it would ideally look like. There we go. So that finally should do the trick. We struggle with that a lot more than I'd like to admit, but you know what? It's, uh, it's alright. Oh, is that a mumbo token there? Of course it is. Okay, so let's jump off of this without dying. Lovely. Banjo looks a little bit more refreshed. We can pick up this. And then, let's see, can I, can I break this with eggs? I can. Alright, so we are going to run in there like a mad bear. <laughs> Already talon trotting, ready to run away. And I think we came out of that all right. Let's see if we can climb up here. Pick this up first. We don't really need those eggs at the moment, so... I'll be all right. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Sandy Butt's tomb. All right. Bring it on. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to run. Granted... We only have a minute to find our way through this labyrinth. It's not exactly promising. Do we want to go which way? Oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> which way is the right way? It's not that way. Oh, that's him there. So we'll go around this way. Anything else of interest? I hope there are no, like, really important collectibles in here. I see notes. Oh, wait, there's a grunty switch. We'll hit this while we can. I'm glad we found that. Oh, that's... I knew there was something in there, but we've got bigger problems to worry about right now, Banjo. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh no, this is going to be really close, guys. This is going to be really tight. But I think we're doing okay. Yo, we made it. Whew. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. The ancient relic. I uh, love it. Good old Jiggy. <laughs> Tomb Excavator Banjo. I think part of... Actually, I don't know if... Now that I think about it, I don't know if I was more interested in... Oh, I hear a Jinjo. I don't know if I was more interested in... Like, ancient Egyptian culture, culture first, or if it was me wanting to be an archaeologist. That was like, when I was a kid, things I wanted to be when I grew up. The first was an archaeologist, and the second was a veterinarian. <laughs> And, yeah, it was probably somewhat influenced by Indiana Jones, I have no doubt. Okay, um, let's head over here now. We've unlocked this area, and it's still unlocked. That's one of the things that bugs me, it's like, oh, in certain games, if you unlock something and then go into a different area and come back, it will be no longer unlocked. And we've got a pretty big open area, we're gonna have to go for a magic carpet ride, no doubt. But... Ideally, because we won't do any falling. Oh, hello there, Master Hand. <laughs> so there's quite a bit of delay after it eventually, you know, swipes and hits the ground. You can take advantage of it and try to hit it. We failed. Oh, did it just, like, disappear? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, if you just walk into it. Dang. And we only get one honeycomb from that, unfortunately. I wonder... Oh, we probably have to aim the eggs into those things at various elevations. Yep. Oh, I heard a whistle. Did you guys hear that? Where is... Oh, here it is. I was like, there's a Jinjo somewhere in need. And that magic carpet probably went back down. Oh, so we have to do this within a certain amount of time. Okay. So now I think we gotta jump over here, and then do this one, get ready to move on to the next one, wherever it is. Okay. Come on. Oof. That was kind of a tight jump. Got that one. Anything I'm missing over in that direction? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go on over. Nice. <laughs> Banjo, moving up and down on this magic carpet as he's dancing with the Jiggy. All right, so that's our second Jiggy. And I think we have everything from in here. And I'm being very careful not to just fall the whole distance and lose a ton of my health on the way out of here. 
Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do next? I guess we could try working with those rings. Let's let's head up here. We haven't even really explored this area much. That looks like an unlockable area. Some flight feathers. Very helpful. We've got some stuff going on over here. Oh, and there's bottles. A uh, new move for us. That'll be helpful. And we're almost at full flight feathers. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast <laughs> for a limited time. Oh, that's, of course, they have lightning bolts on them. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, that's right, he does that. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. In the game? All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I could probably get over there if I really tried, <laughs> but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, how are we gonna get that? We need those boots, right? But I don't see the boots anywhere near here. I'm not really too concerned with that thing for now. I'll take that mumbo token. This, oh, this is a timer for that switch. But I think we need to use the running shoes for it. I love how they give us time. Like, like they give us 25 seconds, but a whole five seconds of that are just with the cutscene at the beginning. Okay, so here's some running shoes we could use. Oh, and then here are the boots. All right, let's 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 do this first. And then run over and pick up these notes down here. This is going to bug me if I can't. Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. <laughs> Love it. Grabba's got a jiggy. Nur, 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 nur. Oh, so you are grabby. Can we... Ah, I see. Bear's too slow. Nur, nur, nur. So I guess the idea is this is the tutorial on how to use the... What's it called? The running shoes. So let's go ahead and head over there as fast as we can. Can we, like, jump super far, too? We can. Awesome. Wow, we are... Camera? Camera, really? We are cruising. Nice, we got it in time. No! I've had a thousand, had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. <laughs> so it's nice that because we're moving so fast, we can get so much distance on our jumps too. Oh, we don't, we don't still have our shoes. It's a bit of a bummer. All right, let's take this thing out and get ourselves another honeycomb piece. And then. I think we'll want to get the running shoes again, and then activate that switch, and then we can hopefully get in there. Yep, let's do it. There's no way that thing's going to catch up to us. Come on, I don't have time for this cutscene! How's the camera going to be when I stop? Okay. I can always get the notes afterwards, so I shouldn't pay too much mind to making sure I get all the items on my way up. However, I kind of can't help it. <laughs> It's just part of my nature. Six seconds, though? Oh, no, I missed one. Three, two... Oh, we're not even going to make it in time. You're really close, though. Hmm. So what's the best way to go about that, then? Oh, so we're at max flight feathers now, which is good to know. Pick up this note. I guess I can really afford to cut corners if I want to now. Oh, and there's that down there. How am I going to get those? I, I can maybe try to use the waiting boots here to run across? Maybe that's what I'll do now. Yeah, I'll try to do that. I'm actually not very confident that that'll work, but... It's all I can really think of at the moment for getting those, so... We'll give it a go, right? <laughs> it's about the best we can do. Maybe we'll find some boots that are nearby that will be more effective, but for the time being... Come on! Oh no. So, I'll, I'll land on this flight pad, but yeah, that's not gonna work long term. Do I have to fly and just get, like, really close? Because there are a few notes down here, right? Is there one down here? There's a Jinjo down here, too! Yeah, there are a few notes and a Jinjo, so there's got to be a better way to go about that. Maybe something from over here. Hmm. Let's take a look and see. We're also, we're doing pretty well in terms of the, the notes so far. 
that was probably riskier than it needed to be <laughs> to try to make that jump. But yeah, we have like um, close to 70% of the notes. In just a moment, we'll have exactly 70% of the notes. <laughs> so here's another one of those switches that's going to unlock something. Ooh, what did... What do all of the, Oh, there's a whole area back here that I just fell into. <clears throat> what does this do? Oh, it activates one of those. Is it for good? Is it in a timer? Doesn't seem like it's on a timer. I mean, okay. I didn't think this was particularly time sensitive or difficult to obtain or get to in a certain amount of time, but what do we have going on in here? Oh, that's right, we've got this, like, mummy or whatever. Can I... do eggs hurt him? They do! That's actually kind of funny. Oh, that's right, this is a, um... Oh, what's it called? Like a matching game. So I think that's two mumbos. So we can do that. We gotta make sure we run, you know, sufficiently far away. Banjo. Wait, that's the note. I shouldn't have done that. Give us a little bit of time, man. <laughs> I think that's Banjo as well. What's this? That's a note, so we'll do this. I think you die if you don't actually complete this in time, which is kind of nuts. Oh, so there's Kazooie. I think we've already seen a Kazooie over here. A blue egg. I don't think we've hit this one yet. Oh, so it's one of the few. This is either a blue egg or a honeycomb, right? Oh no, the yellow gingers are next to each other. That's actually really funny. That's a blue egg. Oh wait, that was the honeycomb, wasn't it? It was. Come on. We got a good amount of time. I think we'll be fine. What do we have here? Red Feather, I think that was over here too. Yep. Okay. Now there are just two left. So we are good to go. <laughs> and the mummy is like permanently hurt. Nice. So a little match game and a little memory game and got ourselves another Jiggy. Lovely. Anything else of interest in here? We got the Mumbo token, we got the four notes. I don't think there's anything else. We can take a look around briefly before the mummy gets us. Oh! It's onto our trail. <laughs> I thought it was down for the count after we completed the game, but I guess not. All right, oh, I uh, almost jumped into the quicksand again. That would not have been good. Do I have to hit this again? I do. Right? Or do I not? I guess not. Did I hear a Jinjo? I did. That's what's over here. I thought this was an entrance to like a secret part. But, no. Oh, we've got a, the camel over there. Actually, what do I want to do first? Hmm. Let's fly. Nice. <laughs> Expertly done. And, yeah, let's pick up this extra honeycomb piece while it's still on my mind. We gotta be careful as we go through here. Being so careful right now. Can I, can I please just like, Banjo? <sighs> that went so well, guys. I was like, as soon as he, you know, gets knocked back or whatever, I was thinking that he would, you know, readjust and be like a little bit lower than he was the time prior. But unfortunately, that's not how it seemed to work. All right, let's see if we can uh, get this guy to attack, so we can at least get one more bit of health. And I think we might be able to, yeah, let's let's do this. Um, we can hit this thing with the with the eggs, and then go to the talon trot, so we can gather all this really quickly, and be pretty good to go. And now we've got to get the running shoes. So we can hopefully activate this and get started. I was able to get a little bit further along there with the switch. Because I jumped as soon as I hit it. 
and now we can kind of hug the walls here and so hopefully that'll give us a little bit of time oh i thought i could jump there to get over that lip a little bit more quickly than before three two one come on come on come on oh seriously we were so close oh man um all right well we're gonna have to try that again right <laughs> there's not much more to do about it there was that one time that I messed up my jump to try to get a little bit ahead, and I think that's what cost me. Alright, let's see here. Run and jump. Got a little bit further there. Part of what bugs me about cutscenes like that is you don't always know what the camera orientation is going to be when the, the cutscene resumes. Granted, this is now the third time I'm doing this, so... I'm familiar with, oh, it's going to return to this camera angle, but it's not a given. And in certain games, that can lead to some frustration. Nice! Made it just in time. And we're swimming? Interesting. Alright, Mumbo Token, we're at 25. Got quite a few. Interesting. So we've got some notes down here. We have an underwater mummy. Oh, and so that's going to drain the water into there, and that's how we're going to be able to get those things down there without dying. Ah, there we go. That's pretty cool. I always appreciate when there's, like, environmental interaction in that manner. As you complete the level, the level itself changes. Or, like in the Mega Man X games, when you complete one level and how it changes the rest of them. Oh, look! The, the rocks are like a smiley face. That's actually awesome. I, know, I didn't realize that before. That's really funny. Alright, well I think we're good then in here. So we'll head on out. And I think that's all that area has to offer us. And now we should be able to swim down here and gather these items. So let's go ahead and do that. 82 notes. So we're making good progress on the notes. We still have quite a few jiggies. And I think we're missing, I think one more Jinjo? Oh, no more Jinjos. <laughs> That's all the Jinjos. So we have six jiggies, which is pretty solid. We're still missing a, um, I mean, we're missing both honeycomb pieces, but we know where one of them is, even though it's proving to be quite the hassle to collect. There's an enemy up there we can take out at least for some health. So let's go ahead and do that while we can. Just because you and I both know that we need every bit of honey we can get. So before we go for that honeycomb piece again, let's head on over here to this magic carpet and see if we can help out this camel here. Where does this magic carpet stop? Over there, gotcha. Is it gonna come over this way? Let's see. It is, let's go for it. Nice. So we'll go on here. We can pick up a few of these feathers while we're here because we need them. Pant, it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. I love it. So this is Gobi, this is this is Gobi's Valley. The Gobi. So we break the rock, said Gobi free. He's gonna go to, uh, I believe, Trunker's Shade. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Yeah, I appreciate that they have that interactivity where it's like, oh, they show you Trunker early on and the Shadow, which is, uh, I think, one of the few places they really emphasize the Shadow of, of something. Oh, wait, can I not? Oh, it comes back. Holy cow, I almost missed that. <laughs> that was really close. Okay, so let's head back towards the beginning of the level then because now I think we're going to be able to actually do what we need to there. And that's right. Oh, there's, there's that area over there we got to get to. Yeah, so that'll be probably our next big thing to do. And then we have all the flying troubles. So here is Gobi, who is now well hydrated. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Trunker wants rain. Gasp. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, bark breath? Because <laughs> we will eggs and feathers help. No, cough. Okay, I mean, we already had that little ordeal. But the idea is Gobi is obviously a camel. Camels hoard water and, you know, they're different, like, humps or whatever. And 
if we hit one of them, <laughs> Gobi spits out a whole bunch of water into Trunker. <laughs> ah, lovely water. Trunker feels great. And then Gobi runs off. So Trunker is able to grow a bit, and the fruit, the fruits of our labor, rather, very literally and figuratively, are a jiggy. So we'll fly on up there. And we got ourselves our seventh, eighth? Eighth Jiggy. Okay, so only a couple more. And I think I know where we're going to get them. There's one for flying around in those rings, and I think there's one up where Gobi is now. So let's head on up there. And then I might have to hunt around for that second honeycomb, you know, piece. Because I don't actually... I mean, I don't remember a lot of this part of the game too well. we got to wait for this magic carpet to come around. We could fly over there. But, um... For the moment, I think we're just going to wait for our magic carpet taxi. Off we go! Nice. So here's Gobi again. How many of these do we need? We only need, what, seven more? Eight more. Alright. Oh! Nice! <laughs> bah! That's it! I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Aw. We've kicked Gobi out of Gobi's val valley. But, hey, that, uh, that at least solves that. Can we open this? How do we open that? I don't actually remember. There's got to be some switch somewhere, right? Yeah, I feel like there's got to be a switch, but I don't remember exactly where it is. Is there a switch we didn't quite use? There isn't one coming to mind, but I'm sure we'll run into it as we go through the other, you know, parts of the level. Oh, I can no longer use those flight pads, so maybe we'll have to... Is there a more easily accessible flight pad around here? Oh, I shouldn't have done that so early. Because now we're going to go all the way down. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, is there not a more easily accessible flight pad than climbing on top of, I think, what was his name, Jinx? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, looks like we're going on up. Ah, oh, that was not a good idea. I thought because I was in Talentrot and I'd be landing on a slope, I wouldn't have that fall damage. But it seems that was just naive of me. <laughs> oh, no! Come on, get up there, Banjo. Get up there. Okay. We are hemorrhaging honey. <laughs> but I think we'll be okay. Cautiously optimistic. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is try to hit this target, which is easier said than done, but we're going to be getting really close to it. I love how they use the gold feather at the top of the statue there. Rip. So, no, don't. Don't grab onto it, Banjo. Don't grab onto it. Now we gotta climb up again. Can I reach over here like this? I can't, okay. Well, there's not much more to do than just try again, I guess, right? But we were so close. But yeah, I like how they use the golden feather to kind of complete ban or, uh, Kazooie's feathers like that. Alright, there we go. So that unlocks that. We do not have a lot of time. So, can I can I fall down? Can I go down? Please? Alright, come on, are we over it? Nope, we're not over it. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, Banjo. Oh my goodness, we're going to totally miss out on it and we're going to have to fly again. <sighs> totally missed out on it. I was, like, trying to cling onto the pole where the target is. That was the first thing I was trying to do, and then I was like, wait, this isn't working. And so then the backup plan was to hover over that part of the pyramid and try to, like, ground pound into it, but um, that obviously also did not work. Okay. Let's see if we can go towards the pole now. Nice. Talon Trot to be safe. And we're good. Alright, what's going on in here? 
We've got ourselves a mumbo token. And I think these, oh, these are probably the last of the, um, what's it called, the notes. There's two there, there should be two over here probably. Yep, and then there are two over here. Awesome, so we have all the notes. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Okay, and what do we have going on over here? Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, Pipe Boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? So I think the idea is... Also, I love... Look at on the side, the little animal thing. <laughs> the eyes and the nose. So I think we need to put eggs into this basket, and I, <clears throat> like an expert, <laughs> hit the wrong button. Okay. It's proving to be a little bit more of a challenge than I'd anticipated. Oh, we have to do... We have to do them relatively quickly, it seems. So there's one. There's a snake in there. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's see if I can really time this. Ah, uh, a thousand thanks. My friend Histup will now help you with your quest. Oh, is that enough? Can I climb up this? Oh, I can. Nice. Can you stand on top. Oh my goodness, I love the snake's image. It's so great. <laughs> with the little like lid on for a hat. That's so great. Make sure we don't take fall damage as we fall. Lovely. Okay, so I thought it was like you had to, I don't know, get them consecutively so that it progressively raised its, you know, neck higher. But it turns out that wasn't the case. And we just needed to get a certain number of them. All right, so let's pick up these red feathers because we're running a little bit low. Or rather, I guess we could, it's just that we could use them. So we have this structure again to fly through, I believe. And there's still that area there. I don't, can we just not go in there? It's seeming more and more like it, because I think we get... I mean, we know where the next honeycomb piece is. And I'm fairly confident we get the next jiggy from flying through those... Like, goals. Those rings. And we have all the notes, so... And we got the grunty switch. So I think we're actually... We don't need to go through there. We just need to get there for... For Gobi. Oh, we uh, expertly missed the ring there. Let's see if we can fly through again. Do we have to go through it the right way? Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Do we have a time limit? Doesn't seem so, which is really nice. So there's another one. That one is behind Jinx, I believe. So we'll have to fly on over there. Slowly, but surely. <laughs> We're making our way. I think you can actually do the, like, beak attack or whatever, and it'll get you there faster. And if you don't run into something, you'll just carry on, carry on with your flying wherever you were or with whatever progress you already had. Um, you won't, like, stop flying. But I'm a bit too afraid to give it a go. So we've got another one over here. A little bit tricky because it's in between the two cacti platforms here. But... Not too crazy. Do we make it through? Do we make it through? Come on! Really, Banjo? Really? Do you guys see in that? <laughs> Banjo. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's let's try this again. There we go. Come on. Make it through. <laughs> Finally. Alright, so we got another ring there. Notably, this one's in the quicksand, so I'm sure if we mess up, we'll we are not in for a good time. Where is it, though, in the quicksand? Was it over this way? Or over here? It's over here. Okay, so we'll fly through this one from the back. I love that the, the Sphinx-like figures all have, like, the long banjo nose. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. This being... Ah, nice. Our last jiggy. And it's up by that flight platform. Lovely. So we can pick it up and then immediately fly again. Although I'm afraid to... I can't see very well right now. So I'm afraid to ground pound. There we go. Some nice clear landing imagery. Go. 
Awesome, so we've gotten all the jiggies, we have all the notes, all the jinjos, the grunty switch, and one of the honeycomb pieces, we just need that last honeycomb piece now. And it seems like it's gonna give me some trouble, so here we go, guys. This is, this is it. Let's see if we can get it. We'll fly on over. Maybe the strategy is to try to get right in front of it and then beak attack or whatever through the center there when we aim just right. Okay, let's see here. And there we go. Nice. So we took the damage, but it was totally worth it because we collected that and it's going to refill our health completely. Oh yeah. And with that, I think we've completed the level. I guess for the sake of stocking up on items we definitely need, might as well pick up these feathers on our way out because we are definitely low. And with that, we've completed Gobi's Valley. We have all the moves in the game. We have all the jiggies here, all the all the notes here. And now we can actually get that last jiggy in Freeze Easy Peak, as well as the one in Gruntilda's Lair as well. Oh, I didn't I didn't note where the Gruntilda's Lair... Oh, wait, no, that's right. It was in that coffin-like structure. So let's go ahead and get that while we can. Oh, there's an enemy here now. That's right. Grunty told us that early on in the game, once we've been into the world's... It'll unlock enemies in her lair. But I think we're okay for now. Let's see. Oh, that's right, we need to use the, the pad to get there. Oh, there are a couple mummies running around. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Did we get it? Nope. Close. There we go. Okay, so that's six of the grunty related jiggies. And now we can go over here. Do I want to get that right now? Hmm, this episode's gone on a little bit. Maybe it's best to wait until the next episode to finish up the Freeze Easy Peak area and then move on to our next level, because I don't think we've unlocked it either yet. Right? Yeah, I don't think we've even like unlocked the painting or anything like that, so... Yeah, let's all save that for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Gobi's Valley is super fun. It's a really cool aesthetic, you know, thematic level. I love how different all of the different worlds can be in this game and how much style they have, both in the music, the art, the different missions, and they're so fun to explore. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and are looking forward to the next. But until the next episode, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.